Hello, I'm Adam Henson. And I'm Genevieve Taylor, and today we're cooking another lovely barbecue recipe. The trick to cooking chicken on a barbecue with the bone in is to cook it really low and slow. I slash the skin deeply a few times and put the pieces into a food bag. Then I combine some soy sauce, some fresh grated ginger, garlic cloves crushed with a knife and some freshly ground black pepper. I tipped all that into the bag and squished it about with the chicken and left the flavours to soak overnight. It smells delicious already, Thank doesn't it? Thank you. So Genevieve, are you a gas lady or a charcoal lady? I'm kind of both actually. I mean, gas is wonderful for the convenience and charcoal is great because it's kind of real fire. You yeah, know. sure. If you're cooking on a charcoal barbecue and you want to do it slowly, the trick is to let the coals really cook down so they're beautiful and grey and then shunt them to one side and cook on the other side so you're not ever putting the food over the direct heat. Okay. So it's kind of indirect cooking. Sure. And the other thing that's really important, and I'll do that now, is to get the lid shut. Yeah. Because then you're creating kind of an oven really. Yeah. So it's Holding in that heat. Exactly. Right, so <laughs> while the chicken's cooking, I'm going to prepare some cabbage for grilling. Cabbage on the barbecue, that's pretty unusual, <laughs> isn't it? It is unusual, but it really works, yeah. Into wedges through the root, like this. Good sharp knife. Good sharp knife. And then I'm gonna drizzle it in a little bit of oil. Just to... Oil seed rape oil? Yep. Red tractor too, I see, very good. Red tractor rape seed oil. I love it this time of year, all those yellow flowers with the oil seed rape growing. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Just give that a little brush. So the other thing we can do whilst we're waiting for the chicken is just make some dressing for this cabbage. So one lime. My funky little squeezer here, yes, one of my favourite kitchen gadgets. Would you mind passing me that soy sauce? Yeah. There you go. Give a glug of that in. Nice bit of butter. A little bit of British butter British too. British butter. Fantastic. I like a bit of heat in my food. Bit yeah, of chilli. Like, yeah, not too much. Just a little sprinkle. Yeah, that's plenty. plenty. <laughs> so that's ready to go on the grill. Okay. I'm just going to put it on the side that's not on, the flame's not on. All we want to do is melt the butter basically and um, and up here I've got some honey that's just melting that I'm going to brush over the chicken. So How's was, the chicken looking? Yeah, at? let's have a little look. It's getting there. A lot of time we'd try and cook it too fast, would we? We do and then it just burns on the outside and it's raw in the middle. Not a hint of burn there. Lovely. With the food that we grow as farmers, you know, a huge amount of energy and love has gone into producing it. I mean, some of the standards that we have now for, you know, their welfare, yeah. their space, the food and water that they have is just excellent. And yeah. it's so wonderful when cooks like yourself respect it and work with it so well to make it as delicious as it ought to be. Just starting to separate from the bone there, that shows me it's, it's getting cooked through. So we'll put it skin side down so it starts to crisp up. And the butter's melted on our dressing here, which is all we really want it to do. So I'm just going to slide that to one side and then get this heat nice and high, ready for the cabbage. And that just bakes away there? Yeah, so it will go nice and charred. It will still have a bit of crunch, you know, it won't be kind of really boiled, soggy cabbage. Yeah. And again, we'll put the lid down just to kind of get that oven heat going. Right, I think that chicken is probably nearly done now. How do you know? I mean, I can tell because it's coming away from the bone here. But just to be safe, it's worth just sticking a thermometer in it. That is cooked all the way through. So now I'm going to start glazing it with a little bit of honey. I just want to give it a nice sort of sticky glaze. And then I'm going to turn the cabbage. You can see the cabbage is sort of charring nicely here. And you've kept the stem to hold it together, have yeah, you? Yeah, it just keeps it together through the middle there. I mean, it does, this one's kind of collapsed a little bit, but it doesn't matter, it still tastes good. So we're nearly there. We are very nearly there. So I'm going to turn the chicken over. I'm going to turn the heat up a tiny little bit, let it get all nice and sticky. Well, even a shoddy chef like me could do this, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely sort of simple lesson how to make the most of great food. Lots of different flavours in there but nothing nothing tricky to cook. And we'll just pile the chicken on and then we'll just pop the cabbage alongside. 
little bit of buttery dressing. That'll give it a bit of kick as well. A little bit of kick. Nice and buttery and salty from the soy. So there we have it. Honey glazed soy ginger garlic chicken with grilled cabbage and a hot dressing of lime and butter. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it?